Okay, hi everyone. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, from whenever and wherever you're calling in from. We had an amazing week last week, and we are expecting an equally amazing week this week, you know, with all of the Brexit thing happening. And of course, this week is a, a NFP week, so definitely we're going to be seeing some um, good movements in the market. Although, now that I think about it, NFP has just been, you know, um, not very good like it used to be those days. You know, but notwithstanding, we can still find something to trade. Now, if you look at the chat, um, the screen right now, you can see the news releases that we have for this week. Quite a number of them. Of that, and um, I think we'll have more um, card news this week. It's really interesting because I have a pair. There's a pair I wanted to just show us. You know, as one of the pairs to really look out for. It's going to be dropping massive pips if not um if we're not going to be able to take everything this week i mean this month then probably january would we'll see them move really well so but um i'm going to be showing us but if you look at it right now you see a number of news releases yeah we we'll see some speech and you can see uh, what is quite interesting is that we don't see we don't have we're not going to be having the gbp news you know only one on tuesday and that's really sad with all of the Brexit thing happening. I thought we'll see more, you know, like you know what news is. News just helps to push the market. You know, up or down just provides the um, liquidity, volatility that we need for the market. But anyway, at a glance, you can see it. We have a number of news releases. So just be on the lookout. For those of you that trade news, just be on the lookout. So you have, you can, um, yeah, set your um, sell stops and buy stops. And um, yeah, take advantage of this, um, um, liquidity so straight up let's just go to the chart so i can show you what i have marked up and what i'll be looking at for this week now um last week i was you know i was looking at this um pair chef um yen i expected it to actually jump up but for some reason i think um it's um dropped dropped really really well let me see how many pips you know it was i think it was here then it pushed up a little bit pushed up about um 30 pips and then dropped um more than yeah okay dropped about 40 pips so right now i'm looking for that trade opportunity at this um this uh, uh, area here as you can see it broke this trend line so i'm expecting it to come all the way back to this trend line let me use my opportunity to um i'm expecting it to come back to this trend line and then possibly push up more for further drop, you know, maybe back to this um, level that I got to. There was the one one two level that it got to before the bounce, and then if that doesn't happen, then maybe this is what we might be seeing. Then maybe it could just push back down here and then go back to the top of the channel, you know, to just complete that um, move and then probably continue to do its thing. But now that it broke out of this channel, possibly this is what it's going to do. It's going to come down to that level retest and then come down or break that all together then retest that level and then come back to that place and then if it breaks that it's coming down here so those are your possible moves for this particular paper is a good one reason why i want us to draw attention i'm drawing your attention to it's because it, it's now at a key level it broke out it broke out of that um level as you can see it broke out retested and then dropped so I'm expecting that to break, um, to come all the way down to this trend line. And you know how it is. With, I treat um, trend lines, channels, and all of that. And I'm, I see support and resistance as key areas where you take your trade from or the top or bottom of a channel or trend line as your key areas, high probability areas where you take your trades from. I try to avoid taking trades in the middle of a trade. So that's why I'm drawing your attention to it, to watch for these levels this levels you know so it could go back up for a drop or it could just break and retest and then that drop happens so that's something i want you to look at the one that is really 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 on my radar is this guy right here you know i'm really really looking to trade this guy i don't know who i marked this for on time um, if you if you look at it on your MT4, there's no much data to play with. But I'm going to show you this, and I'm going to show going to show you on Trading View as well. 
now two trade um, biases. You can see that trend line. See the top and bottom of that trend line. So price went in, dropped, went in, dropped, went in, dropped. Now it's getting close to it again. You know, okay, now it's open anyway. I think um, the market is open now. So it's getting close to it. So the possible trade for this guy would be for price to go all the way to the top of that channel and then come back down. So, you know, to just continue that um, up and down movement in that trend line. Now, if you ask me, how many pips would that be if we can catch that move? I say we'll pin 1,300 pips. Okay, 1,000, yeah, 1,100, I think 1,100 pips. You know, if we can catch that 1,120 pips, if we can catch that to the downside, that's why I want you guys to look at this. So this area is a very key area for us to look for a trading opportunity. Why? Because price got, every time price got there, it dropped, got there, dropped, got there, dropped. So it could get there and then drop again and it always drops back to the bottom of the channel. So that's what you should be looking at. And then if that doesn't happen, if that doesn't play out, the next area where I'm looking for trade opportunity will be at this level. It, if it breaks above here, then I'm looking for um, a trade opportunity to the upside, to that D leg there. So if I can get, excuse me. So what I'm waiting for this to do is to probably break above retest and then probably continue to that level, you know, get to that level. And then from there, we can get the drop or that drop. You know, let me see how many pips that would be if I can get that one. Um, I move to the upside, that's like 300 pips. Then I move to this level would be 500 pips. I move to this level would be further 800 pips. That is that one if the upside decides to play out. You know, but you know how we roll, we always look at the um, look at confirmations before taking a trade, but this is a very high probability trade that I want us to look at. Then the second um, um, bias that I have, let me see, where is it now? It's this one right here. I drew it on my um, MT, sorry, my trading view. So if you can look at it at a glance, you can already see the channel consolidation price price came into this level and it's been going up and down you know it's not been able to break out of this level now if you look at this point through a um a uh, what's it called this is a don't know the other one is a shooting star um i can't remember this pattern now mm, is this, i think this is a morning star yeah morning star if I if it's wrong, I'll probably correct it um, when I'm posting it on the platform. But you see what happened? The price pushed up, you know. So right now, as it came out of here, where do you think it's gonna get to? The same thing that's been doing before. It's gonna go to the top of the channel, and then possibly continue come back to the downside. If you guys traded AJ with me, you'd see that's the same thing. AJ. AUD USD, the same thing happened. So it keeps going up in that channel to drop, go up, come down, go up, come down. Now it's going to the upside. Now, if we can succeed in getting this, uh, that's what level is that at 0 0.96328. 0 0.96328. Now, oh, before, before I make that measurement, look at this. Did you see the confluence? The, the confluence comes, it comes at the deal leg that we saw on the side. Yep, same D leg, and also coincides with the top of the channel. So that's a high probability trade to look out for if you want to trade it. So from that top, the top of that, let me measure it from here. Yep. So if you click it from here, bring it down. That's a whooping 1,000, yeah, 1,300 pips. Yeah, 1,300 pips. Yeah, am I right? Yeah, yeah, 1,300, um, 323.19 pips. Yeah, 1,300 pips. If we can get it, if you allow, if you want to just trade, allow it to go to the top side before you start trading because it's in this channel. So it's a high probability um, um, that is going to, it gives a high probability that it's going to drop. So if you allow it to go all the way to the top, then you can probably set um set like a sell limit, yeah, sell limit to this stop. But your stop loss would be 
around here. Let me see how many pips that stop loss would be. If you enter at this point, then your stop loss will probably be, hold on, I didn't get that right. Um, your stop loss would be, if you enter at this point, Okay, your stop loss would be about, excuse me. Okay, um, that's a massive one. Um, would be about 83 plus, I mean 180 or thereabout, but that's for you making 100, 1,300 pips. So look at that. So where we are at, we have two biases. Price should get to this D leg and then we can take our 1,300 pips all the way from the top here, down here, 1,300 pips, or if it comes all the way to the bottom here, that's 1,500 pips. So this is one trade that, we're, that I want us to really look out for. You know, I'm gonna, don't worry, I'm gonna be, keep a very sharp eyes on it. So as to ensure that we all win on this trade. And you know how we do. So that's one, two high probability trade. And the next one is the GBP NCD. I know we, for some of us, who, we remember this trade. I marked this thing out and one expected it to get to the top here. It actually did, you can see. We tested and then jumped and then dropped and it's been dropping since. Now, let me drop to the bottom here. Look at what's happening at this point. Yes, the price, price is breaking out. So what are we expecting? I'm expecting because of that breakout. So I'm expecting price to break out and retest. See, there's nothing else holding it back apart from this level that it has. So if we can find an entry at this point, what we are expecting is to get 1,160 pips, you know, from this pair alone. So if we can get that retest, so if I were you, I would set a sell limit at this point. Let me see, I'm gonna set a sell limit because you see, when I say something is a high probability trade, you know, I mean, because if I enter at this point, this is where my stop loss is going to be. And I'm hoping to make that much. See where it is? Just here, my stop loss would be here. It's not even here, you know, a bit too large. This is where it is. It's at the bottom. So I set my stop loss here, and all of that will be my TP. You know, all of this will be my TP. So that's one pair to be on the lookout for now if you if you watched my um my recording if you didn't see me when i marked this and you watched my recording and you were able to take this straight um i said price is going to go back to that level why because of that key level price has been coming in and bouncing coming in and bouncing and it got back there broke it and you know how i trade break of channel or break of um, um trend line or break of level retest of that level and then it drop so i said price was going to go back to that level and retest it and dropped kind of pushed in a little bit you can see so if you took a trade from here yep and then you allowed it to run you would have been walking home with 380 pips. Yep, just putting a trade here and then maybe your stop loss somewhere around here. You would have been walking home with 380 pips for that pair. So, but now, um, as you can see, price is um, following this other one as well. Price has broken it. I didn't even forgot I even marked this one as well. So it's gonna go back, retest, we're expecting this to go back. It's opened now and it's at the bottom here. So from where it is, we expect it to go back. We'll just follow this pattern anyway. Go back to that level, retest it, and then take it down to that um, 1,300 pips. If you can hold it, look at there's nothing holding it back here. There's nothing, absolutely nothing holding it back. So you can hold it down there and there's, this is where the TP is going to be. Um, and Euro USD. Now, this is one pair I'm trying to avoid trading, but it just, I feel I don't want to miss it because this head and shoulder, you know, if it eventually plays out, this is just going to be really good for us. You know, because this is where the final TP is. And everybody knows that. So I think the market makers, they know that. The reason why it's, they've been manipulating this because it's really... It's really a cheap pair. It's really cheap to trade. So they will, they would do whatever it is to manipulate it because a whole lot of people would be looking for it. So they create this, uh, this everybody as we are seeing this head and shoulder, they are seeing this head and shoulder as well. So they would do whatever it is to, you know, to gather the stop losses and wrong trades and everything. 
So we can get that break out, see, broke out, go back inside. You know, it's been doing that. Now, um, you can just still win at this one by just following price action. See, um, one of the ones I'm seeing is like, for instance, someone look at this, uh, bearish and golfing, pull back my trade. See how I trade, know how I trade bearish and golfing, pull back and it pulled back into that previous um, um, resistance or support. And then what happened, it dropped. Let me see how many pips from there. Perfect pullback. It dropped 160 pips, you know, and then, so the same thing is happening right now. And golfing, perish and golfing, then pullback is happening. So you can decide you want to look for a trade, probably at the top here, you know, probably look for a trade at the top of the channel here, stop loss somewhere around here, and then look for, look for a sell, all the way down to this level if it's gonna because I I know that we were looking at this um, inverted head and shoulder you know we were really looking for this inverted head and shoulder let me see if I can yeah this one here this one you know but I'm not sure they're gonna give it to us but if that if this plays out then all the best all, all the better sorry would we'll see this go all the way up and um, just like I've marked it here then this is the level we'll be looking for a trade, you know, and then we'll take it back to either here, sorry, take it back to this level, you no, know, or follow the normal rule of engulfing, I mean, inverted head and shoulder, which is this TP here, based on this measured move. You know? So that would be your trade. But to buy now would be to, that's to buy, I wouldn't say buy at this point, you know, you'd I would say buy when this, level is broken and we can see price move all the way back to this level retested this neckline then we can be sure of that bearish and golfing i mean sorry that's inverted head and shoulder but until that happens we'll be looking for opportunity to sell this market the more you know you know for the look at that bearish and golfing then look for that um level previous low it could be somewhere around here you know anywhere you want to enter you know and I feel that would be the best place to take this trade at. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah. Just this zone, really. This zone would be the best place to look for entry opportunity. Let me see what it looks like on the higher time frame. Yeah. That level. Hold on. Yeah. That level would be the best place to look for because also coincides with um, the um, trend line. So we could see price to, excuse me, maybe something like this. Let me just move back up to that level and then drop. Yeah, but I would say to sell it, you could do that. It could take a trade here and then TP at some, somewhere here. Stop loss somewhere here. Yep, see the level. So you don't really, you don't, you can TP here or let it be, let it be open. Once you're in profit, move your stop loss in and then watch it. You know, until this level is clearly broken and you can see price coming down. It broke, it was clearly broken here and then they manipulated it and pushed it back inside. So yeah, that was, that's your trade. Um, again, I don't want to make this uh, video very long so that other people that will be watching it would um, not find it difficult. Now, this is another one, another manipulation in the market is a cheap one as well. So we've been waiting for that um, uh, rising wedge to drop, fall out, and then it did, but it didn't go down to where we wanted it to go to, you know, wanted it to go all the way back to that, um, the bottom of that, um, what's, what trend line is this? It's this one here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not the one. That's, that's the bigger one. So, but this one is, let me see where that one is. Is that a bigger one? Okay, yeah, that's the bigger one. That's the big one. Okay, so I wanted that to happen, but yeah, yet it didn't happen, but it's all good. Just let it do its thing. Created this level for us. So now if I'm gonna trade this one, this trade right now, I'm gonna be selling. Um, yeah, this is one level that I saw. I think, uh, was it San Francis that pointed something, asked for it, and I uh, can't remember what happened, how, how I found this level. So this is one level price, can you know turned at you know so i'm just expecting if price is going to go up we're probably going to see a break above and then take it back to that 
key level then bef before you, um, before you start looking for a sell to the downside but if that level breaks then look for a retest retest and then take it back to the top here but for now i'm not selling or buying this thing i'm just gonna let it be i also looked at opportunity on the higher time frame with my um what's it called now with the um pattern so if this plays out then it means this still has room to go up and it's supposed to um hold on supposed to go all the way back up and where is up up is 88.6 which also coincides with this um um, um what's it called and the blue zone that i created which is the key zone that i created then we can begin to see a drop there so that's if this is going to break above and but you can see there's been a lot of rejection to the upside you know so i'm just expecting that to happen that drop that and then you know but um again this is where i'll probably just start looking for training uh, well I, I don't know i could we can find something else before we get there you know on the smaller time frame but this would be a key level you know to start looking for if you you know if you want to just really force it what i always say if it, uh, it pays given too much of trouble just leave it alone then look for something else okay this was something else that i saw as well you know but they are all the same thing just still looking for opportunities forcing opportunities you know and but i don't want to i don't really want to have too many other ones that um, we can look at you know but if it's been messing up you know just i'm just gonna abandon it and let and i'm look for the opportunities um yeah but if you look at this one it was a very very good one that we we took you know took all the way down here you know and then now if you look at it on the higher time frame the price came into that um consolidation that channel has been going up and down up and down then it broke it eventually and then you see that's like um i expected this to be a retest and drop but that didn't happen it was yes it was a good trade i got stopped out a number of times on this one and so retest and then um price instead of uh, dropping it just kept pushing up it dropped as you can see but um wasn't really a good drop you know so got uh, um close a few trades on this one but yeah what i got if you followed me from the beginning you'll see how we won big in this trade because of that move you know, we saw it happen somewhere around here and we've been been beating it you know even all of that move to the upside, if you followed it, you'd see all of that move was playing out, you know. So yeah, but like I said, you can't always win. You won't always win 100% of the time. Yeah, there are times you lose, but all if the, all of that was a win and you only lose a few here, I can still call that a win. So for this, see price pushed up, um, pull back, pushed up, pull back, pushed up. So right now, what are we expecting? Expecting for that push up, and more so if you look at what's happening here see that movement i see that movement pull back that movement pull back so it's just like it just tells you that the bulls are still in control of this market very much in control of this market so expecting this to be continued to the upside um let's see what trade opportunity we have here yeah i already drew that out yeah i already drew this out last week and uh, as you can see <laughs> price opened well you know uh yeah it's a good whooping um 40 pips 45 pips yeah yeah i drew this out last week before the market closed uh, yeah as you can see that's a good one so now expecting price to just just it has whatever price action we'll find here we'll probably just um set that up as well uh forgive me my chat is getting messy about the day i try as much as possible to reduce you know reduce it so if i get any price action this is the level we'll be seeing on um, our tp but if i can find some some way to trade this to continue to the upside i'm gonna send that and uh, but if, if not then probably might have to wait till you can find a retest of that level and then we can take it back to the top of this channel you know so if everything even though you take it from here still a good place to trade for 380 pips um which other one before i go uh because i don't want like i said i don't want it to be too long this guy right here what about this guy uh same thing here yep same thing same um, um flag and you can see it's really good really really good so if you if you entered 50 50 pips 
So for this one, yep, um, I'm just, you know, I call this, I looked at um, this bullish move to the upside. Everywhere I went to, everyone was just saying that this is going to sell, this is going to sell. But there was no, I know it's going to sell, but there was no indication for sell. People just kept selling, you know. But I found this channel, you know, that's for some of you that followed it, you've been, so how price has just been giving us some um, winnings on this, um, you know, on this pair based on that channel that we saw. And that has been going up, coming down, going up, coming down. Right now, my bias is that price may, okay, it's already broken out of it anyway, so, but who knows? A bias is that price needs to go all the way to that 1.33860. Why? Because that's the top of this um, move, um, this um, ex expanding flag now. <laughs> I don't want to call this. You know, that's the top of it. So that may be price may get all the way back to that top before the drop to the downside for continuous. So we may see something like this from where it is. I may just go up and then continue before it drops because de definitely we're expecting price to drop. You know, we're expecting price to drop eventually. Uh, let me see. Let's see, because as a key level, you can look at it yourself. It's a key level. So expect price to get to that level. And then possibly you see it come all the way, come toppling down. Then if you can if you can look at it at a glance, you can already see it looks like a double um top as well. One top, um, second top, uh, top drop top drop so this may even be the final level anyway but you know, because you know double tops don't necessarily mean that this uh, right shoulder uh yeah it's gonna um align with the left shoulder that could just be so for you you know how we trade if we don't get um we need to look for a confirmation for us to continue to sell so if for instance price decides not to go back to that level to complete that um top or maybe like, you know, if it doesn't do that, what we do is where it is at right now, we look for trade opportunities. You have your levels, all the levels have been created. All of these levels are possible entry opportunities for you. So now if price drops, so what we just need to do now is just to let it drop, retest, and then TP. Let it drop, retest, TP. You know, just follow all of these are your levels. Yep, all of these are your levels. Okay, may even decide to create more levels here. Let me see. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make it to I'm probably let me see if I'm going what I can do to this. Can move this down. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Remember how it is you you adjust your charts as price plays out so you don't just leave it that right like right now it's push pushed a bit lower than what it was so just i'll just your charge to just accommodate all of the uh, the movements so right now this is what we may see now price may just go in feel that this that um, level and then drop or possibly go in feel that and then probably just continue to the downside you know but yeah again for me to take this trade, I need to see another break out of here, then a retest, and then my TP will be, yeah, probably around here. Yep. So we'll just keep an eye on it anyway. But generally, on the long term, USD, Euro, um, USD card is going to drop, you know, because of that double top uh, thing that we're seeing. See? So I thought it was, but anything, anything, anything above that level, you can already see where my chart is. Anything above this level, then this is the next level. Why do I say so? Because if you look at it on a higher time frame, you know, this is the, okay, I could say maybe, look at it. It's even really, really clear. There's nothing else. Unless you want to look at this level, unless you want to look at this level as another potential, but it's not as um, huge um, like this one, you know. So you could also take this place as your possible TP zone as well, or this one. But you know, you don't leave your money in the mark. I mean, on the table, take what you can take and then let it go. All right. So, all right, guys. Um, that brings us to the end of this session. Like I said, I don't want it to be too long. I think it's already 20, 25 minutes. I don't want to, I don't want it to be longer than this. So, thank you very much. I'll take questions with the guys out on this platform. And if they don't, if you don't have any questions, then I'll see you on the other side.